Good news, Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes is getting locked up for seditious conspiracy and the accidental pirate is the first major domino to fall as they tumble towards the big orange one sitting on the patio with Kanye and some guy he says he didn't know. I don't need another election to bring back revival and my glory. And so my children, don't you see that you have the victory? You did not lose that day, no matter what your enemies say. Prophet Julie Green is so passionate about children, she'll have to spend some time with Herschel Walker. Look, if you'd won, you wouldn't be slumped in a yard sale chair clutching a security blanket behind an iPhone pretending to talk to God about the real victory for your right-wing crazies. It is pouring MAGA tears. Oath Keepers are going to jail for seditious conspiracy, and it won't be long before others join the prison party. I have a laugh with this eye-patched potato and his gang of stupid. Arizona election deniers embarrass themselves in a wild failed attempt to stop the certification. Donald Trump has a meal on the patio with fellow stable geniuses Kanye and Fuentes. Plus, by popular demand, I have a hilarious new genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book. Play a round of Choose Your Fighter, check out the latest in Stupid, and more. The runt spawn of Diaper Dawn tweeted, We need to build a movement that takes American dollars away from un-American corporations. Instead of giving your money to woke corporate giants like Amazon, download official PSQ, a platform where you can find thousands of unwoke American businesses. Naturally, I replied, if you're building a movement to take American dollars away from un-American corporations, start with the Trump org. Since they make their tat in China, use their golf courses to funnel charity money, wildly overcharge the Secret Service, and ran a pay-for-play visa scheme. Meanwhile, in Arizona, Mike Lindell's window-licking minions attempted to stop the certification of the election. I came here today to get an up-close and personal look at the seven traitors to the United States Constitution. Okay, again, We're please. We're sitting at that desk. Revolution necessary. Your, your time is up. This whole thing was a sham. You're violating the Constitution. You're violating our rights by saying you can only petition the government for two minutes. Where's your authority to do that? Who died made you king? What we saw on election day was outrageous. And to say that it was anything but that is uh, either you think we're stupid or you're just that arrogant. And the way that you guys can just sit there, it's disgusting. Watching you pledge allegiance to my flag was disgusting. The way that you sold us out. Okay, so the place goes under attack. We're talking diehard style. Choose your fighter. Is it going to be Bill O'Reilly, William Shatner, love child who thinks her HOA presidential powers will work here? Man dressed as Kimberly Guilfoyle at a Trump wedding. Will Ferrell's crazy half-brother with a Dirk Diggler middle hair part. The guy who shows up at karaoke with a smoke machine and his own microphone. The fangirl in red waiting to service the guy who shows up to karaoke with a smoke machine and his own microphone. Or Karen Smurf. Let me know in the comments. Ratbeard, Eyepatch, 1983 Nintendo Big Boss villain, Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes, and Kelly Meggs, another member of the far-right organization, were found guilty of seditious conspiracy in connection with the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol by plotting to forcefully disrupt the peaceful transfer of power and use force to block Congress from formally certifying President Biden's election victory. In 1993, former firearms instructor Stuart Rhodes dropped a loaded 22 caliber handgun and it shot him in the face, blinding him in his left eye. And the only sad thing about this is that it happened in the 90s, before everyone had an iPhone, because that would be the viral clip we want to see. Rhodes founded the Oath Keepers in March 2009 in Lexington, Massachusetts, allegedly as a reaction to the election of Barack Obama, whose views Rhodes deemed unconstitutional. The dominoes are falling, the Oath Keepers are turning on each other, and I think it's pretty funny that the group with keeping an oath in their name are flipping faster than Saturday morning line cooks at IHOP. Oath Keepers, their name is as accurate as Dollar Tree after the price raise or 7-Eleven's hours. This jury was willing to convict the leader of the Oath Keepers on criminal charges. 
then it's more than possible that another jury would be willing to convict the main player in the Capitol insurrection, Donald Trump. The majority of Republican senators voted against marriage equality. Just want to share that image. Those are scumbags. It's been a week and defeated former President Donald Trump has still not denounced Nick Fuentes. Trump had a patio meal with a well-known Holocaust denier and Trump is claiming he didn't know who one of his biggest supporters is. And even if he didn't know, Trump had a team around him that screened people pretty darn easily. Like the guy who said he would build the best wall ever and nobody knew security more than him just lets morons slip into his establishment left, right, and center at the same place where all the top secret documents are. And we know Kanye is off the deep end, so odds are he's not rolling with the normals. I mean, they could just Google these people. So yeah, I'm not buying it. Yes, Nick is a Holocaust denier, and in my books, that's case closed. You're a garbage human we're done. He believes that he is working to defend against leftist cultural changes that are destroying the true America, a white Christian nation. Nick served as an organizer and speaker at many Stop the Steal protests leading up to the January 6th attack on the Capitol, and his very own annual America First Political Action Conference attracts a range of media personalities and political figures, including elected officials such as Marjorie Taylor Greene, Paul Gosar, and Wendy Rogers. Anyway, we got along great. He expressed no anti-Semitism, probably because I'm not Jewish. Also, I didn't know Nick Fuentes. Trump will never say anything bad about anyone with a large voice who shows support for him. For those new to the show, I'm glad you found me. Thank you. For several months, I've been reading a genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book. I do this once a week, and it's been pretty wild. In this section, we are at the rodeo where she'll soon be selling her port sliders. Let's get back to it. Jason, with a Y, secretly borrowed a permit from another food stall, and thanks to the magic of photocopiers, whiteout, and a deliberate coffee spill, he pulled off enough of a document to get the city off our backs, at least for today. I am always so proud of his creativity. You should see him do his Bobert thing in Costco. First, we'll hit up the sample lady, but we don't trash the cups. Again, people think... I don't like the environment because trees are dumb and I expose the climate change hoax, but I do reuse things. If this Colorado wildcat can convert a spent Trojan into a scrunchie, then turning a little paper food cup into a shot glass is a breeze. Eat the sample, keep the cup, and then hit the liquor section and tuck a bottle in your cart. Shop and fill, baby. People think you're trying the latest yogurt, soup, or coffee, but it's just free vodka. This is the big box life hack you need to know, and it doesn't just work with vodka. I am proud to say I dumped half a bottle of Pepsi to make room for the Jack Daniels. If Costco doesn't want us to be bold, then they wouldn't put yard-sized garbage bins everywhere. Jason likes to open up a few packages of ribs and then just mash them all into one for a real deal. Sometimes we'll hit the electronic section and he'll mess with the speakers on demo, blasting some white snake while I give the shoppers a little taste of my moves from my side hustle at the dance place, Lady Buns. We top it off with a bit of couples fun in the food court. He gets a pizza and I get a hot dog with no bun and some mayo packets and I try and eat it without my hands while Jason takes Polaroids. He sold some to Japan. I'm a model. Then... We try and find our kids. So yeah, Jason with the Y saved the day at the rodeo with that fake permit just in time because the doors were opening soon. It's a shame that lefty cancel culture won't accept hamsters at a food establishment. So I had to do my best to keep Mountain Dew on the lowdown today. Before things got busy, I broke them out for a few quick Doritos and some air. Then locked that little fur ball back in the purse. Jason pulled the lid off the tub of our prize meat and the smell hit us like locker room balls and old clams. <laughs> Jason blew chunks across my chest, but it did not phase me. You see, I am trained for this, as it often happens when he's been on a Tuesday Coors and 7-Eleven sushi bender and wants to be on top for a quickie before he takes his ATV for a rip down our street. It was like a fairy tale. 
I hope you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Boozbert's latest book. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll consider reading another page in the near future. Thank you. How important I is mean, this game against the Iranians? And I'm going to say their name important. incorrectly. The Iranians. Ugly American making more ugly Americans. Fox News, where it's cool to pride yourself on being an ignorant idiot. What have you done for this country, buddy? Nothing. MAGA tears. Tucker Carlson uses doofus dems like you for toilet paper. Go on his show and get wiped. MAGA tears. Being a liberal, what would your response be if I asked you what it is that makes you qualified to be such a jerk to people you've never met in person? MAGA tears. You have no hair, but you in the crosshairs. We're watching China Campbell. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media and following me on mine. It costs you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. So if you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or smash that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and have toured with Jim Jeffries for several years. I have three albums, you can stream them on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool, be kind, 